Okay, now we're going to take a look at the handle here. On this handle, you're going to find a series of buttons. There are three buttons. There's a larger button, and that's going to engage the air ride. The gauge is equipped with an air ride. All the gauges from V4 and up will have the air ride capabilities. The only gauge without the air is going to be the V3 series. So this large button allows you to engage the air and drive the probe. This is great for when you have large parts and you need to work your way around the parts. Um, so we have the air ride function functionality. The capabilities are there, um, and it is a great feature to have on your height gauges. Um, next to that, you're going to find two smaller buttons with one and a two on them. We can configure these two buttons as hotkeys. These are common use buttons. These are these are different buttons that we can set up that are going to be the most frequently used features of your gauge. Typically what I like to set for the first one is going to be a zero button and then typically the second one I'll set to toggle between surface and diameter mode. Um, if you're saving the data, which we can do with this gauge, export our data, I like to set the second one up as a printer button. So if you take your measurement, you like your measurement, you send the data. You take your measurement, you like it, you send the data. So it does work very well as a printer button as well. Um, but let's take a look at how we're going to configure these buttons to our specific needs. If I hold down the blue button, our diameter button, for an extended period of time, it brings us into a menu. Um, this is kind of our hidden menu. It's not very hidden, but that's just how we get it. This is how we open it up. Um, there are some different functions and features within this menu, but we'll skip over them for right now and go right to our button one and button two aspect. So if we toggle our way through this menu, we'll, we'll eventually find ourselves with a feature that says button one. Right now it is currently set up as the zero button, which is, that's the way I like to set it up. Um, but we do have options. So your number one and your number two button on your keypad are going to allow you to scroll up and down through the options. Presets, references, surface diameter mode, printer button, or the zero button. So we'll keep button one at the zero button. If we go to button two, button two is currently set up as a printer button. Why don't we go ahead and change that to surface diameter mode? Because we don't have it set up to print anything right now, so it just makes sense for us to use it in surface diameter mode. We'll toggle zero, preset, references, surface diameter mode. So this is going to be a good function for us to have that set up at. So now we can come down, establish a zero with button one, measure some heights, and then we can switch over to button two by switching, switching over to diameter mode. Um, it just makes everything a little bit quicker, a little bit smoother in the measuring process. So it's a great way to establish your different features. So let's get out of this menu now and just show you if we come down here and pull my part over, if I land on this little surface, I can use button one to reestablish a zero now. Now say I want to go measure a diameter without going back to the keypad, I can hit button two and automatically prompts me to diameter mode and I could then effectively go measure a diameter. Engaging my probe, sweeping through the bottom, engaging my probe and sweeping through the top, giving me a diameter and a center line relative to my zero that we just set on that surface. If if you wanted to set it up as a printer button, we could be sending our data out. If you wanted to toggle between your references, toggle between your presets, again, all those different options are in there and they're perfectly acceptable to use. Um, and you know, the operator is going to figure out what they like the most and then you know, they're going to take that choice and they're going to pick it. So that's how we establish our different quick hotkeys with the gauge. Where do you